love, it's a beautiful thing. But what's even more beautiful is the app Tinder, which has nothing to do with love. Let's take a look at how some people uh, choose to use the app. Damn girl, question mark. Looks like God gave you everything but my number. Probably for a good reason. <laughs> ah! Ah! Sorry, I just hit the swarm of bees feature. Yeah, you don't ever want to open with damn girl. Damn, shouty. Day two of using bad pickup lines on guys. If you were a taser, you'd be set to stun. Cute, but also a little Star Trekky, a little, a little copy. <laughs> Seems like an excessive use of force, TBH. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Not Toby Fox and Living Tombstone in the top artists. Sorry, and then sad face. So I don't know who Toby Fox is. I don't know who Living Tombstone is. Living Tombstone is a rock band. Okay, so it looks like there there's a lot of like looks like it's a lot of fan video game type music. Um, so this person is clearly a a nerd in a cool way. I think nerds are cool. But are you an angel because tooth hurty? So for those of you out of the loop, or maybe in a foreign speaking nation, there's a very classic joke here in America. It's like, oh, it's 2.30, time for my dentist appointment, cause my tooth hurty. What time, what time is your dentist appointment? Tooth hurty. And uh, are you an angel is a setup for another punchline. I don't know what that punchline is. This is just a, a really good mashup of insane things to say. And so this man responded, your humor is too advanced for me. I know the tooth hurty joke, but where does the angel fall into all of this? He's the dentist. Okay, not a pickup line. Hello there, General Kenobi, what's up? I'm so confused. If you were a transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. Sent? No response. Your hand looks heavy. Can I hold it for you? I like that. That that would work on me. Are you any good at boxing? Because you look like a knockout. Applause, applause, applause. Are you Lee Harvey Oswald? Because you blew my mind. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I don't, I, hey, don't you dare disrespect Abraham Lincoln. Don't ever disrespect my boy, Abraham Lincoln. I take you to the movies, but they don't let you bring in your own snacks. That sucks. Forget anything I just did. My Tinder experience has an obese male over the last nine years. You swiped 62,523 times. Wow! I have been on Tinder like a total of maybe two weeks in my entire lifetime. Because if I'm fresh out of a relationship, I'll download it for like one or two days. I'll swipe a bunch and then I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop. You're on Tinder for nine years and 56 days. You've swiped right 53,000 times. So you've swiped right on more people than you swiped left on. Out of that, you've matched with 1,100 people. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. I don't know. What is that ratio wise? You're doing about one in 50, looks like. You chatted with 418 of them out of 62,000 swipes. Out of those chats, you've landed 36 dates. I don't know about you, but I feel like that's a pretty good metric for Tinder. Casual sex, 13 of that, 36. So a full third. Out of relationships, four. That's pretty good. And zero marriages. That's fine. 30 years old. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what people think. I think these are okay numbers. I don't know. Honestly, looks like you're doing better than a lot, but I've never used Tinder. I only have Reddit and friends to reference. When I saw that I only got 1,100 matches out of 53,000, I swiped right on. It made me laugh so hard. LOL, but hey, thanks. I think that actually is a decent ratio. Longest relationship lasted three years from Tinder. That's great. Shortest with four months. Craziest date. Woman claimed that she could read people's auras, talk to the dead, and see the future. Okay, so you dated Miss Claire Voyant. <laughs> Editor, could you put in the name Claire and then the last name Voyant? They'll get it. The audience will get it. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, she was also smoking hot and way out of my league. Oh, no! Oh, I relate! You're with somebody, you're like, I don't agree with the things you're saying, but uh, but I don't I don't know if I can do better than this. We got drunk at a bar and then went back to her place and had a night of fun. Yeah, she ended up stalking me for over five months and I had to get a restraining order. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> That's fine. Guess she didn't read the, the aura in the courtroom. Aura in the court! <laughs> My most memorable date. I was vacationing in Lake Tahoe for a week with my college buddies and matched with a woman whose family had a lakeside vacation home there. Lake Tahoe is very pretty, by the way. Look at this. It's, I mean, it's idyllic. Look at this thing. I mean, I mean, this is Lake Tahoe. Isn't that nice? Oh, God. And to have a little vacation home here, you get a little boat out there. Oh, oh these photos are so beautiful. This is a part of Lake Tahoe as well. You know, you could sort of be there. You could be looking along the, along the shoreline. You could be on a little kayak in the Lake Tahoe. Oh, look how beautiful the lake is. Yeah. I'd be over here in Lake Tahoe all the time. You got snow, snow capped 
mountains and the distance, you know, you on a little kayak, your little oar. Okay, sorry, wait, what were we talking about? My most memorable date, I was vacationing in Lake Tahoe for a week with my college buddies to match with a woman whose family had a lakeside vacation home there. Beautiful. She offered to take me out on her dad's boat for a few hours so we could drink some wine, eat some charcuterie. Well, she texted me the morning of our date and she said she had to drive back to San Jose last minute to help her grandma and couldn't make it. However, she gave me the code to her family's private dock. Nice. Told me where they hid the key on the boat and told me I was welcome to take the boat out and enjoy myself. What? Sounded too good to be true, but I figured why not give it a shot, lol. Told my buddies what happened and we went to investigate. The code worked and the key was right where she said. The boys and I had a great day on the lake thanks to her and I parked it back on the lift with a full tank of gas. We tried to meet up several over times over the next few months, but she lived two hours away from me and it never ended up happening. You're a legend, Sierra. Okay, wait a minute. So what I'm hearing is Sierra just gave you a beautiful day on the lake and you never met her that's cool sometimes the best date is a date with yourself dang you must have an exceptional aura so through so through if this story is 100 percent accurate hats off to you op you are a gifted individual is that the original guy oh yeah this person yeah had to double take this profile 21 you me 3 a.m chasing down raccoons raccoons please please raccoons let's see what the people say Raccoons, I suppose, in a field, country people be doing that. They shine a light in a cornfield, and the only thing that reflects is a raccoon's eyes. Had a buddy in the Air Force tell me they would go chasing them at night for fun. I'm from the city and couldn't tell if he was joking or not. Okay. I just don't like the verbiage. I just, I'm not a big fan of the verbiage. Someone do the math on how uncommon it is to have all three traits. My simple pleasures. Masculine men. If you're 6'3 and have bright green eyes, curly hair, hit me up. Otherwise, don't waste my time. What happens if you're 6'2"? What happens if you're six foot four? Are you looking for the brawny man? Are you looking for one particular man? Is Harry, how tall is Harry Styles? Is that what you want? Harry Styles is six foot and he's got green eyes and, and brown curly hair. Is he not enough for you? Are you gonna, are you gonna make Harry Styles sad in his nipple shirt? You're gonna, you're gonna disappoint Harry Styles in his little nipple shirt with his earring, huh? You're gonna turn down Harry Styles? Are you really gonna turn down Harry Styles? Cause he's three inches short. I understand that three inches is, is you know, three inches. <laughs> it makes a big difference. <laughs> okay, this is pretty. This is really intense. Um, this is this is a lot. This is not. This is not healthy. It's not good. My man used that Uno reverse card. Let's see here. Loving a little cowboy. Yeehaw. Loving that. Thirty-seven verified. Okay, so he's taking a taking a photo of himself. We know what he, we know that he actually looks like this. I'm a single father of three. They are my world. If you don't have what it takes to help me raise my kids, then move aside and let a real woman step up. He's very very transparent about his uh his uh his wants here. That's pretty good. If you want me alone, you have to pay for the babysitter. Pause. What? I want to read that again. If you want me alone, you have to pay for the babysitter. Pause, pause. Sir, these are your children. <laughs> these are your kids. And he's less than a mile away from this person. So whoever this is has to see him out and about. Chances are. Also, FYI, please charge your phone. No, uh, this, this tells me that they have been swiping in bed all day long and they have yet to plug in their phone. If you want me alone, you have to pay for the babysitter. You do, lady. That's okay. So, so he ain't making money like that. That's fine. That's fine. He wants himself a little sugar mama. That's all right. I'm trying to think right now. I'm trying to think if the tables were turned and I was reading a, I was reading a, a woman's profile that said something like that. Being a single mom. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't scare me. I need to pay for the babysitter. Hmm. On the first date? What does that imply? Very strange. If you want me alone, you have to pay for the babysitter. Must help pay for beard and hair care. Being this beautiful isn't cheap. Huh. Now, I can't grow a beard, personally, but is this kind of patchy? I probably shouldn't be judging this man. Must have your own car, preferably a seven-seater. This guy wants a soccer mom now. He needs a soccer mom ahora mismo, ¿entiendes? This man is straight up like, hey, just so you know, I'm a beautiful man. You're going to have to take care of me, all right? You need to have a seven-seater minivan. And also, you're going to pay for the babysitter. Do you think you're going to get a sugar mama, my guy? Must be able to cook clean and be submissive. Okay, submissive. Okay, here we are. That's, there we go. Okay, so he's looking for somebody who wants to be told what to do. That's what he wants. He wants a, he wants a sugar mama to, to be spanked, I think. No taller than five foot seven. Or actually, he did that wrong. So no taller than five inches. <laughs> no taller than five inches seven. Uh, for those in, in foreign, here's that in centimeters, just so you know. No heavier than 100 kilograms. Okay, he must be in Canada. Also, how do you have two Snapchat? logos up here what does that mean that, that that's giving me red flag energy from from the person swiping as well i'm not gonna lie to you who uses snapchat in their in their 30s nobody i know must be heavier than 100 kilograms all right let's figure out how much 100 kilograms is 220 pounds no heavier than 220 pounds okay well but it's weird to have that request what does that mean have you met somebody 
who's slightly over like 221 pounds and she just broke your heart. You dated somebody who weighed, you know, 250 and she just like did a pile driver on your spirit. Is that what happened, sir? God, I wish I knew your name. Yeah, it looks like a little S here. So I'm going to call him Scott. I'm going to call him Scott. He might, he's probably not Scott, but I'm going to call him Scott. Scott, did somebody break your heart? Did somebody yeehaw all over your face? Must be fit. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean to you, Scott? Maybe what he's looking for is a 200-pound bodybuilder who is also submissive, has a minivan, and makes good money, and will pay for your babysitter. And for your beard and hair care, have your own source of income and your own teeth. Now I'm offended! Do you know why I'm offended, Scott? Veneers! Why do I have veneers, Scott? My teeth! I used to grind my teeth at night forever, and I would chip my front teeth constantly. So when I started making money, boom! fixed them. I haven't chipped a tooth since. It was the best investment I've ever made. Who cares if they're her own teeth or not? What does that mean? Who did you date before? Who has hurt you, Scott? You cowboy, goofy ass mother <laughs> Damn, you need to have your own teeth too. That's a bit much. Must provide pizza every Thursday night. Quite possibly the most sensible weight limit I've ever seen on a dating profile. Based on everything I've seen online, dating as a short man, I understand his desire to stand on a soapbox. Okay. I was so ready to swipe right on Scott and now I'm not sure. Now I'm just sad. I'm just sad and disappointed. Goodbye, Scott. Let's move on. Big man. Takes a big man to admit they're wrong, but it takes an even bigger man to play that guitar. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was good. Made me chuckle. Wow, what a what a beautiful exchange. Do you, what would you do with that response? That was good. Made me chuckle. That's like that's like watching somebody type LOL in real time or LMAO and then their face is just like I, you know, this is one of those circumstances where I'd appreciate a little emoji. Say less. I'm like a mosquito except I don't stop sucking when you slap me. Oh boy. See, if I saw a line like that, I I, I would be so confused. Would my monkey brain swipe right? Oh yeah. The thing about this is this is the first photo so I don't know which one of you is the one that I'm swiping on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like then I got to go through this photo and that photo and that photo. And assuming that every single one of your photos is with other women, which I'm sure that's the case. Um, Good Lord. Let's see what people have to say about that. Ah, uh, yes. The standard copy pasta. Okay, nice. 10 years ago, that line gave me a half chub. Now it makes me roll my eyes. Very cool. Bet you still swipe right immediately. <laughs> So she spreads malaria. God, can you imagine if malaria was an STI? Almost two years of swiping, 20 male, 0% conversion. Okay, here's the deal. Right swipe, 13,000 right swipes. Matches, close to 3,000. So that's a pretty decent ratio compared to the last guy. 379 chats, zero dates. That tells me that you are not good at talking. You are not good at chatting, okay? Hey, that's a you thing. That's on you. 379 chats, zero dates. Do some do some, do some, some soul searching. Do some looking. You might be saying some weird stuff in these chats. That's my guess. Let me read these comments. Brother put all his skill points into appearance and none into charisma. Fumbling 2,600 matches is insane. If you'd messaged all of them sex, you'd probably have at least gotten like 30. <laughs> have you ever asked one of your matches to meet? That usually helps. Boom. Boom shaka. Boom shakalaka. I've seen your pics and you're a very handsome guy, so unfortunately I have to assume that you carry a conversation like a piece of driftwood. Yes. Good news is that it's something that you can easily change. Try being a more active participant, respond sooner, ask the other person questions about themselves because everyone likes to talk about themselves. True. Stuff like that and perhaps one out of those 379 chats will turn into a date. Look, man, I know it's daunting. I know dating is terrifying and horrible and awful, but hey, man, level up your skill set, man. Level up your ability to talk to people, your, your ability to meet up with people, you know, clean your room, make your bed, do the dishes in the sink. So that way when they come over, they don't think you're a weirdo and you just do those things and you'll be all right. All right. This one's called are men actively trying to be impossible? Hey, hey, was that much is waiting for you to pick me up so we can listen to Morgan Wallen and make out in the back seat? I'm sorry, huh? That's wild. Question mark. You want to? Do I want to do the thing that I just suggested? Yeah, probably safe to assume. First of all, no idea who Morgan Wallen is. This, this is the guy you want to listen to and then make out in the back seat. So is he like a country guy? Morgan Cole Wallen. Hey, that's my middle name. Morgan Cole Wallen is an American country music singer and songwriter. He competed in the sixth season of The Voice. So this has to be like in the South or something. They want to go mudding on four wheels. And the fact that this guy is just not picking it up is really funny. In his defense, I've never had a girl be that forward and be serious about it either. I told, I, I get that, dude. One time, what, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell this story. One time, I was on the phone with a girl that I matched with on an app. For me, anyway, I do a phone call to see, you know, just to do like a check, you know? And so we're on the phone, and I'm trying to tell her that I have a pretty big career. The career takes up a, a large part of my life. I'm on the phone, and I'm like, just so you know, I have a pretty big and then she goes, dick. And that scared me 
a lot. Uh, so much so that I was like, oh, no, no, don't, no. Mine's in any, no, don't ever think that. What does whispers mean? I must be old. I believe that's supposed to be the shortening of what's up. Never seen it before, though. What size penis? <laughs> Ah! I had a woman sitting next to me on my couch say to me, I was really hoping to get laid tonight. Guess who didn't get laid that night? We are not smart people. That's so true, dude. There are so many horror stories I've seen, read, and experienced of not picking up on a woman's signals. Men are dumb, man. Sometimes we can't help just double check if it's real slash a joke, especially if we've been played before. A woman who talks big game like that right out the gate, it's like, let's listen to country music and make out in the backseat of your car. It's like, mm -hmm. Uh, danger. You probably thought it was a setup. 99% of the comments and posts on this app are women complaining about men only wanting one thing and not even pretending interest in the woman on any other level. Exactly. Half the posts here by women. Oh, why do men always try to make things sexual? Learn to understand that women don't just rush into sex. Other half posts here by women. Oh, why are men so apprehensive to engaging sex when I'm obviously using Tinder to get laid? Don't ass stop assuming. The number one thing, communicate. Communicate. You just gotta say what you want. Cause if you don't say what you want They won't munch your special spot Ew, uh. How did I do? Hi, wow, you're hot and I love your cat I thought you were supposed to fall in love with me, not my cat Shit, can I try again? One more chance Hi, wow, your cat is hot and I love you <laughs> Okay, I have two cats This would work on me Easy. That's so, this is so good. That's so good. I really hope she responded. Absolutely flawless. No notes. If you aren't married in a year, it's her fault. So true, dude. This is so good. I love the, I love the title of the post too. How'd I do? <laughs> it's like, it's like a kid presenting a macaroni project to their mom and dad. Be like, huh? <laughs> what a good time. You know what? I, I think that's going to wrap it up for me. That was really funny. Let me know what you think in the comments. What's worked? What hasn't worked? Which of these would have worked on you? I got this for me, this one. For sure. In the meantime, how about a little outro?